Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can transfer zip files to your server or other archive files to your server and unzip them on the server. It is extremely helpful when you are trying to upload a lot of files to your remote server and if you upload it without zipping it, then it will take a lot of time to upload each file. So even if the file sizes are very small, it depends on the number of si files, it will take a lot of time. So to save time, we can uh, zip them on our PC and then upload them on the server. And then if we can unzip it directly from the SFTP, then uh, that's the best method. So let me show you how to do it with the WinSCP program. It is a free program and uh, all the links I use for tools in this video will be in the description, okay? So first uh, you have to start this application and then uh, log in and remember that the file protocol should be SFTP not only a plain FTP. SFTP is uh, uses SSH and is encrypted and uh, support zipping unzipping and some other uh, things. FTP is just for file transferring it doesn't support zipping or unzipping or things like that okay that happens on port 21. So you have to put your username and password and then click on login. Now you can see I'm already in the testing directory I have created for this purpose, but you will have to navigate and come to the directory where you want to upload the zip file or and unzip it, okay? So for this demo, I will upload this zip file here. Okay, so for this demo, we are going to use this file test zipper dot zip. Okay, so select this and then right click and from here go to file custom commands. You will see this options. So you will see that I have created this three custom commands, uh, but you will not see with this uh, with the default version. So for that, you have to go to enter here and uh, type the commands here. Okay, for zip and unzip. And I will show you how to add the commands shortcut so you don't have to type them every time. Okay, let's cancel this. Go here, go to commands, and then go to customize here. Okay, then in from it should be available here in the commands, custom commands. Then click on add. Okay, now you have to put a description like zip files here. And then you have to put the command. This is the command. It will unzip the files instantly in the same directory without uh, asking which directory you want to unzip it. Okay, so it will uh, unzip it instantly. Then you will have to save this. Okay, so you can see here, I have already done this here. And similarly for zip2 directory where it will ask where you want to unzip it. I have this command and for unzip and I have this commands. Okay, so you can also delete this commands. For example, I will remove it and I will put these two commit all these three commands in the description and link to the official website also. So you can copy and paste and add this command here. Click OK and let's use the commands and see what is the difference. Go here. First, I will use this command unzip. So this is the command I just showed you and it will unzip all the contents right here. Now it will ask you for confirmation. So for this, as I told you, it should be SFTP and you should be able to do a SSH connection to the server. So if you do not have shell access to the user account you are using for this, then it will not work and a, a zip packet should be available on your server. It is mostly available now the error you see is usually it is that if it is the zip file application is not available, uh, you can install the zip package. And another error most common is that uh, it happens because if you don't have the sufficient privileges or shell access, okay? Click okay here. And now you can see there's the folder because I zipped a folder, that's why it has created another folder here. Okay, you can see all the extracted contents. 
now let's test uh, some other commands here for example this is a previous test file and uh, if i select again here and uh, if i select this option now unzip to directory then it will ask me for where the directory name here for example i will say new directory test click ok now you can see here instead of uh, just un uh, unzipping the test zipper directly it has created a new directory here if we go here is the directory and we can see the contents here okay now if you want you can uh, obviously select all and move or copy uh, where you want them to be and so i will go here and show you the uh, last command let's select this go here and then this is the zip to directory option okay so example i want to zip all these files so what i will do is select here go here and zip to directory okay so it will ask me for the archive name so i can put um test archive click ok so it will create a archive file here now you can if you want to unzip it again select it here and um, okay first i will have to delete all these files otherwise you will not see the change okay now go here and unzip it now you can see all the files have been instantly uh, unzipped so this is how you do it and it will only work if you have shell access and if you do not have shell access then i will also show you an alternative using the ftp method okay so i have cleaned uh, all the files and we have these two test files now we will uh, use the method if you do not have shell access so for this you will have to first upload the zip file which you want to extract and in the same directory you have to upload this file unzipper.php okay and after uploading this you will have to use your browser and uh, go to this file so you'll have to type your website domain url and the correct location to that file and then press enter so you will see your interface like this and it should be able to uh, locate the all the zip files in that directory so for example i want to unzip this file so here you can leave it blank and it will unarchive in the same directory so let's see the con current content of this directory and after unzipping i will refresh and show you okay so this is the current content let's refresh it okay now to unzip it click here and you can see the file unzipped successfully now let's refresh the files here and you can see the files have been unzipped so this is the method you can use if you do not have shell access or if you are getting error but remember that this method will only work if you have a, if the zip file is not very huge the size should be smaller otherwise the unzipping process may get interrupted because of your hosting providers limitation there is execution time cpu limits and a lot of other restrictions that gets triggered when you use this uh, without the ssh method so for small files yes it will work perfectly and you can always try and remember that uh, once you have done unzipping remember, delete this file you should not keep this file to be publicly accessible and you should also delete the other archive files if you do not need them okay so make sure that for your server security and safety you will delete this files once your work is complete and to download this file php file you can check the description i will put the link there so hope this video helped you and there is another method that is directly going to the command line and doing that so that's uh, so that method i would recommend for really large files like if you are dealing with like a gbs of files like 4 gb 5 gb or if you are or if this method is taking too much time then you should use that method for that i will create another video and i hope this video was helpful and this helped you solve your problem please uh, if it did please post in the comments and thank you for watching this tutorial i will see you next time